like this is an introduction of the smart robot car with camera version 4.0 e-lego so i made this with my dad a few weeks ago so there's a camera over here the camera you can use it on our app included on the instructions in the set and you can see people with it and you can control the car behind it is the on switch you can on it it will oops mine's already coded to do something so it's kind of out of control so if you on it there's this switch there's this button you press it it will swap to auto it will swap to line tracking mode you see this line it will track the line on line tracking mode it says included on the box you press it one more time it will go in optical avoidance mode so if there's an obstacle in front, it'll stop the car and turn the other way. And then the blue light is for when you do it one last time, the blue light, it will go, it will follow an object in front of it. It can even push water bottles by rolling them. But that sometimes makes the camera pop out. But it's okay because in the camera, it's not secure. So you can, you can just pop it. You can just pop out and pop back in. Then you can also use P P F P V mode. It means on your device you can follow. You can make it move around by using a com by using your device. There'll be a joystick module. There'll be a joystick on your device on the app included in the instructions like i said before and you can use it to follow people around there is also a remote control it's not that good because when you press it it'll go around it'll, it'll go forward for a few seconds and stop it sometimes makes it crash into obstacles and if you have a tall sofa, like the bottom is a tall, keep it away from there. Because the camera, the camera, it makes the camera pop out. There is a, there's, there's a double powered motor, strong, one motor for each wheel. You have to, you can code it from this. You see the switch? You turn it. That means you cannot code anything into it with the wire. So if you want to code something from the laptop, connect the wire to the laptop and connect it here and make sure that this wire is turned, this lever is turned this way. Otherwise, it will not let you code it in and it might be stuck inside the core forever. There's also a computer mind under the under the board, under the top of the board here. That in the last two episodes, I mean last three episodes of the Arduino Uno tutorials. That is the board from that, but it's a different one, even stronger connect it onto another board on top for the wires on the bottom of the car there is this computer source that is line tracking it will track lines it also takes up a wire and the last part of it the second last is the wire, ultrasonic sensors sensor it will, so if they so if it's something in front of it the ultrasonic sensor will detect it. So if it's on, for example, or follow, or to follow 
mode, you put something in front of it and the ultrasonic sensor will see it and follow it. But on optical avoidance mode, if there's something in front of the car, it will turn around and go the other way. And there's this step, there's this motor underneath. It turns the camera like this. So it can look around for Pat to say Pat to go. It'll use this on auto follow mode. For example, it's following the uh, object, you take it up and place it on this side and place it on another side. It will turn one way and then go and look on the other side until it sees it and turn and follow it again. In optical avoidance mode, if there's an optical in front, it will stop moving and turn. If there's an optical on the other side also, it will turn the camera the other way. But if all four side, if all three sides are blocked, it will turn around and go back. And there's a battery in the back with the on and off switches. And to charge it, you have to use another blue cable and connect it over here and connect it to a laptop or switch and you can charge it you will know if it's low on battery if this light over here this light turns red and if it's just plain which is like normal and you're controlling on the tablet it will show just white.